They're meant to be kept behind glass, because released into the wild, goldfish can become a major problem. This stormwater pond in St. Albert is covered in snow, but six weeks ago, environmental teams removed thousands of Asian goldfish. Officials thought they would net upwards of 5,000. It turned out to be closer to 40,000, many larger than you'll find in a pet store. And that's why I call them monster fish. They are cute when they're in their bowl. Once you release them, they get as big as they can. The threat they present isn't actually in the ponds, but in the connecting Sturgeon River. It's there goldfish could damage the native fish population by bullying them out of their habitat. Officials can't say for sure if any Asian goldfish managed to swim into the river system. That number, 40,000, the most Asian goldfish provincial officials have ever seen come out of one spot. But this is not just a St. Albert problem. Multiple municipalities from Fort McMurray to Edmonton to Okotoks are seeing the species flourish in all kinds of bodies of water. So about 48 known locations of goldfish in urban stormwater ponds, golf course ponds, campground ponds uh, across the province. The cold doesn't help either. Last winter, St. Albert officials froze the pond to the bottom and it still didn't kill them off. They expect to be catching goldfish in St. Albert until at least 2019, and all because someone got rid of a pet. People seem to think that if they don't want their pet anymore, the most humane thing to do is to release it. But that is illegal and can net you a $100,000 fine and up to a year in jail. Officials say if you're looking to dump your goldfish, either take it back or give it a proper burial. Dan Grummet, CTV News, Edmonton.